Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator. Doing something different. We are going to Autumn Oaks today. So, I got pretty much everything over there that I need. I might end up having to pick up a few more things. Um, I just kind of cheated and gave me some grass and some silage power food. You know, the stuff that the cows need for now. So I got some time to... Uh, come up with uh, do some silage which is what we're going to do today so we're going to be chopping some silage today so on a new farm uh, we only got about 30 cows but like I said I, I kind of cheated and, and got everything uh, bumped up the numbers and all that kind of stuff so I can get get rolling on some things um, it literally took me a whole day just to get all the equipment over and that was even using the follow me mod and all that kind of stuff so but uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it and uh, this is the first episode of Autumn Oaks so I'm gonna get rolling here we're at the sheep farm and I'm not going I'm not doing sheep um, I'm not I'm not gonna do sheep okay that really sounded really bad <laughs> I just realized <laughs> how bad that actually sounded um, we are not raising sheep there we go Use a 4430 for chop pulling chopper boxes today. Um, we got all of our equipments in the sheds except for a couple things that wouldn't fit. Um, we got a spot there for the bagger. It's going to be for grass. Yeah, we're trying to bagger again, but we got a nice level spot. So hopefully we won't have no issues. And the dry cow barn is down there. Those hoes ain't doing too bad, I guess, so. We'll come over here, we're gonna get this going. And let's see. Try and decide what field I want to chop. think we want to do this piece here. So we're going to drive over there. I think it's this strip right here. This first one. Yes. This is the one we want to do. into our chopper here and we'll get some chopping done geez how many lights are on this unit you can go around the other way but my uh, chopper boxes are over this way, so and this road's pretty freaking rough. Holy shit, dude! So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get that going. Then I'll have to fire 4840, go back and get my uh, 4840 out so we can start packing in that bunk. And then the plan is we're going to chop this strip, put this uh, this strip in the bunk, and then probably chop another strip and throw it in the upright silos. So that's the plan anyhow, but we'll see how things go. And we're going to have to go 
Michael Gittner, 48. Yeah, we pretty much <laughs> sheds are pretty tight, so we're definitely uh, kind of tight on space. But we got everything pretty much fits in there where it's supposed to be. So why the hell did I go this way? But we're gonna have spaces for bales and all that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are. Um, but we're gonna have spaces for bales and everything else. So, we shouldn't have too much of an issue. And I got a bucket out here just in case I needed it, but I don't think I'm going to, so we're going to I park this here for now. And I think we're actually going to put a couple placeable floodlights because it'll help us see a little bit better. First, we got to make sure facing the right way. here too so that way you can see real nice when we're mixing and uh, spread manure and things so I'm gonna shut this off for now then we're gonna go around turn on our lights set up real nice and then this should light this up really really nice let's see how well this does yeah that lights it up pretty good so I'm thinking that should be all right and hopefully our elevator is in a decent spot so we won't have to worry about moving that around too much I'll we'll shut that unit off for now Chop them and we'll get started here. So it does sound pretty good. Let's going here. I don't know, this corn seems a little dry to be chopping it, but I guess <laughs> that's what it is. We'll get a couple screens there. But 
no, I'm excited to be on this one because uh, Autumn Oaks is a Wisconsin farm, and this is a very common thing to be doing strips. And I love, I love the fact that they put these in here, so it's actually legit to what we do a lot in Wisconsin as well as the Midwest in general. But um, it's a lot of it is in Wisconsin. Um, depending on what part of Iowa you get to, they don't do it so much because it's you know gets flatter and everything else. But you know, and, and here in the, in the old Wisco here, um, we uh, we we tend to do a lot of strips. And actually, uh, part of the reason why is because if you weave a grass strip in between your corn strips, it helps with erosion. So it won't erode the the ground away as fast and all that kind of shit. So you can pretty much get done what you need to get done and um, and all that kind of stuff and without having too much issue with, you know, as far as hurting the ground or any of that kind of shit. So yeah, it's it's like I said, pretty typical for a Wisconsin thing. And um, I'm really, really excited to have it in all honesty, so that we're going to do this strip here and then the next strip down lower we're going to try to put in the upright silo so we might have a couple chopping episodes coming at you or we might do the hay next I'm not exactly sure um, I'd like to get going on some of the fermenting of the silage and all that kind of stuff so we got enough in the bunks for the cows so that they're not going to starve or anything like that so It'll give us a little bit of time for this to ferment and all that kind of shit. So, and of course, with this not having um, any fertilizer on it, it's really probably going to cut down on the amount of silage that we are going to have. So, but that's okay. I'm perfectly willing to live with that. So. But like I said, it's nice to be on a Wisconsin farm. Um, Lone Oak is in Oregon. Which don't get me wrong, Oregon's a beautiful state. But um, I wanted Wisco <laughs> and uh, and all that kind of stuff. So it's like I said, it's pretty cool to have Wisconsin. But yeah, we got the same equipment and shit. Um, that's probably not gonna change too much. So I just prefer this map. I mean, it's it's a cool map. Don't get me wrong, I love Lono. It's a great, great farm. But so far, what I've seen of this one, um, it's it's pretty awesome, and I definitely like it. I watched some videos on it. It's pretty realistic. Um, as far as I go with the TMR, it's just going to be um, probably the wheat and the uh, or the straw and, and hay and silage and stuff. But I have seen where some people have been putting in um, like beans and corn and that kind of thing. So. But yeah, we're gonna get heading up to this one. We're gonna get this load dropped off. We're gonna get started getting it unloading, and then uh, go back to chopping some more. So. And I 
to stick to the outside of the hay piece because if you're going to end up stomping hay down for harvesting another crop, you're going to want to make sure that you're doing it on the outside where the hay ground is usually the shittiest. So, this road was coming up quicker than I thought. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this unloaded here. So we'll chop this field, put it in this bunker, and then the other ones we're going to put in the... Oh, shit. Yeah, whatever. It don't make no difference. Probably in fact have to remove it before too long, you know, so... There we go, should be good to go. <laughs> and I'm sure that chopper box tipped a awkward angle, ain't gonna hurt it, right? <laughs> that wouldn't cause it to tip over or nothing. <laughs> so. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I mean, it's a new farm, so it, uh, it's definitely pretty sweet to me. So I definitely like it. Next episode, we might do some grass, get going on that, maybe. And then we'll end up having to do some hay. We'll have to make round bales, which will probably be one of these strips that I do up. Probably this one closest to the buildings, I think. So, but we'll see. I won't have a big square baler. I'll pretty much just have all round balers, so... Round, I'll be doing pretty much all round bales, so there probably won't be any any big squares. Um, so I'm just going to be doing round bales again. And then I might end up um, just buying some straw bales which is probably what I'm going to end up doing is buy some go over and pick them up and all that kind of stuff so shut this off for now because I'm not going to try to pick that, or I'm not going to chop that field. I think I might actually pick that one one of these days. So, I guess we'll just have a little swipey do yet. Yes, swipey do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I like I said, I just kind of want to do something different and hopefully everything will work out good and you guys will enjoy it because like I said if if I can get a farm from here for where I'm from hey to me that's pretty awesome so and 
once I get the corn, the bunker I want in there, and I start doing the upright silos, I won't have to. Oh shit! I won't have to uh, babysit. I'll be able to use course play to just dump in the silo. So, which more than likely we're going to end up putting. probably going to end up running boxes with the 4020 here. But that's up there in the shop. We'll probably end up running boxes with that. And then um, 4230 will probably be on the blower. So more than likely that's probably what's going to end up happening. So. Yeah, I forgot I had these set up on the frickin' scene room. It's a big ass fucking bunk. Probably ain't gonna be much in here. It makes the piles look pretty small, so we might end up dropping two strips. So far, I'm pretty happy with how everything turns out so and we might end up having to turn this track around because I don't know if it's gonna compact just slowly putting the frickin' um back blades or the front tires on it. enough to really worry about packing but I just kind of want to get some silage going here so that way we can have some feeder cattle here and all that kind of stuff so and then I got the little short elevator over there so when I push the manure out of the barn it'll pick it up kind of like from low note it'll pick it up and it'll put it down in that other bunker driving around in the bunk home pack now. You don't even have to drive on the thing. Yeah, just driving out here compacts it so 
That's fucking funny. Yeah, I think we might end up chopping a couple strips to go in here, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I, I just figured and I just thought, what the hell, I'm going to use this tractor for uh, pulling boxes this time, so. But like I said, we might end up doing uh, two strips, but we'll see how things go. I don't think, I think we're only going to end up with probably two and a half boxes for this strip right now, so, I mean, at two boxes, that's only 80,000, not even, well, about two and a half by the time you figure it out, but yeah, it's going to be around 80,000, well, that ain't really shit, so... Yeah, I think probably that's what we're going to end up doing is chopping a couple of these strips. I think this strip and the next one are going to go in the bunker and then the other two are probably going to go in the upright silos at some point. So, and then I think the next episode we're probably going to be doing is we're probably going to be making some grass um, yeah, to put in the bag. So. We'll end up probably getting putting some hours on that 4430 here in the next couple of videos because we're going to put, well, we're pulling boxes with it this time and then it's going to end up running bagger the next time. So we might use the 42 to pull boxes, chop the boxes when we're cutting hay, but we'll see how things go. Um, and all that. So. And we might end up having to buy another conveyor because the one that I got now over there by the bunk is probably going to end up getting uh, swapped around and uh, put to the front to un make it easier to unload like I did the last, you know, that loan oak. So...
Yeah, I don't see us getting another box full. But it could happen. For a reason, it's still filling up pretty quick, so we might end up with three boxes out of this deal. But we'll see. But yeah, like I said, I think that's what we're going to end up doing is this piece and the next piece are going into the bunk and then um, uh, this, the next two will go in the uprights. So, and then, like I said, the next episode we're probably going to start doing some grass. So, we'll see how much we get out of that. Um, grass typically you're not having to feed a shit ton of it out so Yeah, this is definitely nice not having to babysit a bunch of shit. So. But yeah, we're gonna probably go ahead and get this box chopped up. Get the chopper probably. I'm gonna leave it out because I'm gonna end up doing this next strip, so. But since, since we're going to be doing this one, why don't we just go ahead and chop. Oh shit, missing some. Yeah, we're getting about to the end of the video here, so we only have a few more minutes yet, so we'll probably get this one chopped up and, uh, well, we'll get it chopped up, we'll get the load switched out and we'll start unloading probably.
somehow there we go. Somehow she got hooked inside the freaking concrete, but okay. <laughs> Well, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for the video here, so till the next episode, guys, take her easy and all that good stuff, so hopefully, probably the next video, like I said, we'll probably be doing some hay, you know, chopping some grass, so stay tuned, and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that episode as well, so stay tuned, we got some, got some good stuff coming up, and uh, I'm really actually enjoying this farm quite a bit already, so anyways, yeah, till the next episode, guys, take her easy.